Hi guys, welcome back to Pike Catch and KDK. Today we're going to be looking at Weston's Mike the Pike. Now it comes in two versions. There's this hard plastic version. And it's hard plastic from nose to tail. And you can tell it's a hard plastic version because it has two trebles underneath. The other version you can buy is the soft rubber version. So it's plastic, hard plastic at the front. However, from effectively here onwards, it's soft rubber. It also means you can replace it. You can see here it has a locking mechanism. You can replace the whole body. However, it only has one treble on the front. We're going to be looking at putting a stinger treble onto this, or at least a stinger hook at the back, and hopefully improve your hookup rate. Okay, so these are the items I would suggest we're going to use. We're going to use a length of wire, which is roughly the same length as the lure itself. We're going to use a split ring pliers, a split ring, a swivel, and also the hook we're going to be using as a stinger itself. So we're going to tie these all together using the palomar knot. And one tip I will give you about using these split ring pliers for tying with is if you're tying something small like the split ring, if you use the split ring pliers and in that way when you're pulling these wires tight at the back from tying the palomar knot, this isn't going to disappear back through the knot itself. So keep a hold of that. The other thing I would always tend to suggest is when you are tying and you're making a stinger for something this size in particular, if you try and only make the distance about this much, so about just over an inch or so, and the reason behind that is that you're going to be attaching this here, there's also going to be a little length of the swivel itself, so the hook is potentially going to start about here, however, because of where the hook is going to be, it's potentially going to be back here, and that way it's going to attach round about the dorsal fin here. However, if you do tie it and it comes out to about a length of this length, then the hook is potentially going to come back all the way here and it's going to attach into the tail, it's not going to sewn properly. So tie those together, just experiment a little bit, see if you can try and get the length properly. There's no set way of doing it. One thing I will suggest is when you are tying the palomar knot is that you have the opportunity to pull on certain pieces of the wire, certain lengths of the wire, and that way you can try and manipulate the distance between them. So like I say, try and looking for roughly an inch and a half, an inch or so, um, and in that way you're going to end up with a proper placement and the hook is going to sit around about the dorsal fin. Okay, so we should end up with something looking like this. We're going to use the split ring pliers again to attach the swivel onto the split ring here, and then we're going to use the rear split ring to attach our hook onto. Okay, so you should end up with something looking like this. As you can see, the wire in the middle isn't too tight, otherwise it will affect the sewing ability of the lure. You can also use what's called a lure stinger spike to attach into this rear split ring, and that way this lure stinger spike will attach into the body of the shad and have the hook hanging down like at the front. And so there's one more idea that we can do, and I'll just show you very, very briefly. Okay, so if you have made your stinger and the wire is too long, you can attach it onto the top here. There's a split ring on top where the nose is. That will travel along the back and attach into the, the back here. Again, just make sure this wire isn't too tight to give the lure flexibility to move. Um, and another point, something I've not really tried to be honest, um, I don't know how it would act without any weight in the bottom, but if you take off this front treble as well, potentially you could end up with an entirely weedless lure um, that might be better for shallower areas. Um, something to try, if you do try that, report back to me, let me know how you get on.